Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome again to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you're interested in our international coin videos. We don't send you anything or do anything uh, with your subscription other than it'll come up on your screen when we have a new video out. So if we look at this coin we see that these are all the, the same coin essentially. It's the five cent coin from Australia featuring the spiny anteater or the echidna. E-C-H-I-D-N-A, spiny anteater. It's a five cent coin. And then if we take it and we turn it over to see what year they are, we see that while the back is the same on all of them, the front is different on all of them. And what we have is a 1966, a 1994, and a 2002. And we see that, oh well, actually when we look at it we see it's the same queen on the front, same anteater on the back, and same queen on the front. Except that we have three different portraits, on one on each of these coins, of Elizabeth II, Queen Elizabeth II of Great Britain. So on the front of the first one on the left there, the 1966, we see that it is the second portrait. Uh, and she has the uh, tiara on. On the third portrait, she has the crown on. And on the fourth portrait, again, she is wearing uh, a crown. So it, they all say Elizabeth II on the left, Australia on the right, Elizabeth II, Australia, and then the year down at the bottom on all three of these. Now this is the second, third, and fourth portrait. If you any of you don't remember the first portrait, we'll look take a look at the there she is, the first portrait on the Australia one penny coin. This is the 1955. So Australia went from the one penny coin to the one cent coin. And if we look at this one here on the left, we see that it is the first year of the one cent coin. It's the 1966 to 1984 version. This coin is a copper nickel coin. It weighs 2.83 grams. 19.4 millimeters in diameter and 1.34 millimeters thick or 1.3 even millimeters thick. You can tell um, by a uh, by the back what their mint is but in this particular year the 1966 there were two mints the Canberra and the London mint and tremendous amounts of these were made because it was the first year of this coin so 75 million total, 30 million in London and 45 and a half million at Canberra. So this is a coin that's not going to be very rare or very valuable and you are very likely to find it if you find some Australian coins. The second coin, the 1994 coin, was made from 1985 to 1988. And again, it has a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, and she's facing right again. And she's wearing the King George IV state diadem. Again, we, when we look at the back, we'll see that it has the spiny anteater on it. And this particular coin in 1994, there were 147 million of them made only at one mint. And finally, we have the five cent from 2002. And the 2002 has the third portrait of Queen Elizabeth on it. And, I mean, the fourth portrait, the third of these. We saw the first one was that the young queen with the bow in her hair, second, third, and fourth portrait. In the fourth portrait, this particular coin was made from 19... 99 until 2018. So the 2002, there were 149 million of them made. It is actually, if it's in very fine condition, it's worth about 30 
five to 40 cents. All of these coins are of the same makeup. They are all copper nickel. They are all uh, 2.83 grams and they are all one point, uh, 19.4 millimeters in diameter and 1.3 millimeters in thickness. Now, let's look at the back. Oh, there we go. And there's the spiny anteater again. It's the same on the back of each of these, except that there are some certain details that you can tell only by looking at the back uh, in terms of the mint. And if you look at the back in terms of the mint, there is a kind of a stubby, short spine on the right shoulder of this spiny anteater. And that's how you can tell what the mint was. And so the way you look at that is you look up here on the right shoulder and you follow this line out here. And if there's a stubby or short spine there, that would mean it was made at the Canberra Mint. And if there's a long spine, that means it was made at the London Mint for this particular coin right here. So we see the short spine there that was made at the Canberra Mint. On the second one, the spine, they're all going to be the same because they, they started. So this one was made in Canberra and London. The short spine means the Canberra Mint, but these were all made in Canberra, and these all have the same spine on them after 19, this 1966 version. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Uh, again, feel free to subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to hearing from you about how you like or dislike our videos. Just put it in the comment section and we will read your comments. Thank you.